I'll be damned. You found the place all right. <laughs> Do you like it? I've always had a penchant for comfortable living accommodation. At the end of the day, I think it's something very important to me. This, well, this felt like it fit. Come now, you cannot be surprised. A dragon who likes to live in the lap of luxury. You should see my bed upstairs. Gold sheets. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 I do not kid. Gold thread is woven into those sheets. Hmm. I sleep very comfortably on it. And perhaps I'll have to show you some time, my little fay friend. Hmm, perhaps another time, though. Tell me, what do you think of my new office? Like the location? Yes, uh, I'm not too far from an old compatriot. Ah, uh, compatriot isn't the right word. We begrudgingly work together. I'm not in the habit of working, you know, friendly-like, with the slithering variety. He's, uh, a piece of work, to say the least. Older than me, but infinitely more stupid, I'd like to think. Yes, well, the snake gods have always had their ways about them. Not like you and me. Our people were of class, elegance, refinement. His kind, huh? Well, that's actually what brings me to your fair corner of the world. It seems it lacks a certain panache, one that I greatly wish to restore. Tell me something. You happy as one of the fey folk in Frosthaven? Come now, tell the truth. I said, tell the truth. <laughs> exactly. You're not happy here. Everyone out there, they look at you and they see the fey folk. The lies told by the werewolves, vampires and... Other lesser creatures. I see you for you. Your kind and mine have always shared a bond. At the end of the day. It's a bond I enjoy. You know you don't have to hide yourself in front of me, right? Perhaps this will explain. Now, I showed you mine. Show me yours. 
<laughs> Excellent. You have stunning wings, my dear. They glimmer when the sunlight hits them, don't they? Maybe that's what I should call you, my little glimmer. No, I'm sorry. Is that not professional enough? You will be working for me after all. <laughs> Come now. What are a few jests among friends? It's simple. I see an opportunity here in Frosthaven. One that I would much like to seize upon. You have a unique knowledge of this place and its intricities. I wish to seize upon that. Oh, up front, well, I'm a respectable shipping magnate, expanding my operation from Boston and New York here. I have offices in every major city. Frosthaven was just the next place to open. You shall be my local help. Well, I don't know if you like the idea of being called a secretary. I know it's not a popular term these days, but... I figure someone here who knows the land. The outside world doesn't need to know what we're really doing, so... Shipping magnate... His local... Personal assistant, how about that? I mean, I don't quite know any other term for it. Executive aid. They're all the same thing at the end of the day. Admittedly, secretary is a little... 1970s. And while I do think you would look very good in a secretary's outfit, I'm not one to presume. Dragons don't presume. Leave that to that slithering bastard. He and all of his kind. Let's be fair. Yours and mine almost hunted his to extinction. Perhaps we should have done a better job. <laughs> Now you're getting it. However, in this case, it's advantageous to us that he's alive. Because with him alive and slithering, we have plenty of opportunities to destroy him from within. Sadly, he already thwarted one plan of mine. I might have been financing a uh, certain illegal enterprise within his ranks. I figured, see if I can destroy him easy from within. He figured it out, though. Well, as much as I don't like to admit it, he's got a passing cleverness. As kind were always of low cunning. Mm, I see you get it as well. Tell me, would you like to help me destroy him? Hmm. 
Well then, that's what we shall do. You help me. You be my guide to this city, this place. I'm the muscle. You're the brain and I'm the brain and I'm the brawn. Together we'll be exceptionally clever. The outside world, I run a shipping company and you're my secretary. It's not that much. <laughs> Pick whatever title you like. Don't worry. I'm a modern kind of dragon. I again would never presume. Hmm. But one rule. This city needs to remember who we are. While you're in this office, you will never hide your wings from me. And I will never hide them from you. I'll talk to the guy who made my chair. Have one made for you as well. No. Oh. Have you not seen it? Hold on. <laughs> I had this specially designed. I sit extremely comfortably, but my wings stay out. Here for the world to see what I am. Because you and I should not have to hide, little glimmer. So don't hide from me. Show me. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> what did you call me? Really? And what makes you think I'm a... Pervert. Well, whilst I, uh, have always had an affinity for a nice pair of wings, I can't remember the last time somebody called me that. You have my word. It's strictly professional. I mean, it's a little bit of a side perk, don't get me wrong, but mm, always professional. I have a job to do after all. Yes, I do. I need to finally end that slithering bastard. I need to bring his entire operation down. Because I am sick and tired of our people's work not going finished. <laughs> I see you get it too. Well then, tell me, shall we begin? <sighs> Excellent. Tell me, what would you change? Do you like the place? Do you need to move anything around? Up front is yours, however you like it. My office is mine, I need only that. Hmm. If you insist, 
Where would you like the desk? <laughs> Fair enough. You take one side, I take the other. <laughs> You're right, I am joking. One second. <sighs> I am me at the end of the day. I'm very strong. Pretty much nothing weighs anything to me. <laughs> Is he a good? Now then. I'll let you get started unpacking. Make yourself at home. Yes. Oh, and one more thing. Welcome to the firm. <laughs>